dear parents and grandparents, faculty and staff, our chief guest, the iconic Sri Amitabh Bachchanji. And my dearest children, a very warm good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2018. A momentous occasion for Dhirubhai Ambani International School. A day of delight, of celebration, of accomplishment. A day when 104 of our children will graduate from the portals of this institution to explore New Year Greater Horizons. Our heartiest congratulations to each one of you, your parents, grandparents, and your teachers. Class of 2018, tonight is your night. This moment in time is yours. Yours to celebrate, yours to call your own, Yours to remember forever. Not only for all the years of joy and hard work that have led to this moment, but equally for the wonderful years of hope and progress that lie ahead of you. And this moment has become even more special and memorable because we have in our midst a living legend, Sri Amitabh Bachchanji. <laughs> Through your own life journey, Amitji, you have inspired and mesmerized billions. You stand out as the eternal face of Hindi cinema. You are a global ambassador of our country and our people with a heart of gold and a baritone voice like no other. You truly are a versatile genius in whose honor enough cannot be said. Amitji, I also want to share with our children that your father, Dr. Harivan Rai Bachchanji, was amongst the first Indians to receive a doctorate in English Literature from Cambridge University. <laughs> and thus opened the doors of world-class universities for Indians. His thoughtful words and poetry have continued to guide and inspire generations. Amitji, truly following in the footsteps of your father, you stand out as a great role model for one and all. Your presence, your blessings, and your words of wisdom are the best gift we could have given our children on this most special day of their school life. Amitji, I also stand here to welcome you as a part of DIS family as Aradhya's grandfather. <laughs> so, from the bottom of our hearts, a big thank you for being with us today. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dhirubhai Ambani International School has completed 15 glorious years what a wonderful journey it has been. 15 years of creating a world-class institution, of staying ahead of time, of welcoming new ideas and perspectives, a journey of joy and hard work, of passion and perseverance, of lifelong learning and relentless rigor, and most importantly, a journey of happiness. The accolades that we continue to receive year after year speak for themselves. 
Our school has been ranked the number one international school in India for the last five years. Our school has also been ranked the number one school in Mumbai for five years. Our academic performance has consistently been amongst the best. Our ICSE Class 10 results have just come out. I'm happy to share that this year too, our results are among the best. Out of the total 31 children, 19 children scored 95% and above. 27 of them scored 90% and above. Our topper achieved 98.6%. And, and, our average score is 94.23%. Congratulations to all my children, parents, and their teachers. Friends, let's put our hands together for all our children of the ICSC. Today, I'm proud to announce that our graduating class of 2018 have received admission offers from more than 140 leading universities all over the world. <laughs> to name a few, one at Harvard, two at Princeton, two at Yale, two at Stanford, two at Johns Hopkins, two at Imperial, five at Oxbridge, five at Brown, seven at UC Berkeley, eight at Cornell, and many more. Thirty-three percent of our children have received scholarships from the world's leading universities. Well done, class of 2018. Congratulations. <laughs> and now, parents, time flies by too soon, doesn't it? Babies become toddlers, and toddlers have become young adults in no time. I still remember the year 2004 the second year of our school, when Isabel, Rohildev, Zaina, Nandini, Yannick, Ashna, Avantika, and so many more of you took your first tiny steps into the gates of our school. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and then many of you joined us in class eight and IB, Avi, Prasid, Nakul, Abhimanyu, Saloni, Ivana, Harsh, Anusha. Together, all of you made a great team, a lively batch, and a fantastic class of 2018. <laughs> and all this seems just like yesterday. And parents, I know you share this feeling too. That is why I want to show you something truly special. On Saturday, whilst practicing for graduation day, our children took a beautiful trip down memory lane with me. They all went back and sat in lower KG classes A and B. The same rooms where they first sat as toddlers in 2004, where they first met each other, where they first started this beautiful journey of schooling. And suddenly, I felt that I'd magically transported back to 14 years ago. We laughed and played with toys. And then I taught them the at words all over again. 
we created some precious memories that will last us for a lifetime. Class of 2018, today I see you all as fine young men and women, but I'm also so happy to see that you have retained your childlike innocence and playfulness. I hope you will always preserve this innocence. I hope the child in you will always keep you enthusiastic and fearless. Dear children, even today, when I look back at my own school days, the memories are full of happy faces. I remember the strings of laughter. I remember our unending stories and birthday parties. But most importantly, I remember my friends. It's true what they say, the best friends in life are the friends we make in school. Even as you step out of these doors to chase your dreams and walk down your paths, the friends you have made at school here will be the people you will always treasure. They will be the ones who will hug you when you win, hold you when you lose. They will be your mirrors. They will be your sounding boards. They will be the ones by your side in your life's happiest and hardest times. No matter what you do or where you are, your school friends will always cherish you for who you are. So, children, hold hands of your friends sitting next to you. Come on. <laughs> Smile. Let them know you will always value and treasure their friendship. Yeah. <laughs> Class of 2018, through Project English Winglish, Relay for Life, Moment of Joy, and so many other thoughtful initiatives, you have made a difference to the world around you. I'm proud to say that you excelled not just in the classroom, but outside of it too, in all walks of life and also in sports. DAIS students are champions across sports at the national and international levels. And this is one aspect of our school that I take great pride in. The importance that we give to sports as a means of education. As you step into this new phase of life, I hope you will retain your love for sport. Sport is one of the best teachers. It, takes, it teaches you to take wins and losses in your stride. It teaches us to bounce back like champions every time we fall. It builds character and instills life skills. Over the years, many of our children have secured admissions to leading universities based on their sporting achievements. This year, Ivana Shah has received admission with an athletic and academic scholarship as a... <laughs> as well as a position in the women's golf team at the University of Akron. <laughs> Isabel Lobo, our national athletics champion, has been admitted to Amherst and has also been drafted into the university athletics team. Congratulations, <laughs> Isabel. <laughs> For all these accomplishments of our children, for their holistic development and education, I must thank a very special group of people, all my heads, teachers, and staff.
Many congratulations to each one of you. You have not only guided our children, but you have also deeply bonded with them. You have counseled them on days when they were low. You have taught them and loved them as your own children. You care about them and they care about you. DIS is grateful for your tireless efforts inside and outside the classroom. <clears throat> Parents and children, let's put our hands together for our fantastic <laughs> heads, teachers, faculty and staff. And now, to all the parents and grandparents present here today, I want to thank you all for raising these gems, for your phenomenal upbringing, for your presence year after year at every PTM, annual day, at the cash fete, at the sports day. So this graduation is also your day. Thank you for your faith in Dhirubhai Ambani International School. It is your faith in our school that has always motivated us to do the best for our children. I always say, I'm a teacher at heart, but I'm also a parent. And on days like these, I am both. Tonight, I join each one of you in your prayers for our children. May they all find happiness and fulfillment in their journey of life. <laughs> children, let's give a loud applause to your parents and grandparents. And now, class of 2018. Today, as you leave your school, the world is your stage. Remember that each one of you has a calling. A calling that will help you make an impact on the world. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what is right. Challenge the convention and change the paradigm. Because that is what is expected from a DAIS graduate. Stay true to yourself, to the people who matter to you, to your country and to the world at large. Your knowledge and skills will help you navigate our ever-evolving world. But your values, your character will set you apart at every stage of your life. So go out into the world, do good and do well. Make your family, your school and your country proud. And as I always say, keep your school flag flying high by daring to dream and learning to excel. You have been the pride and promise of Dhirubhai Ambani International School and you always will be. We wish you all the very best and wish you all the happiness. We will miss you, our class of 2018. God bless and thank you.